Hey, I hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to give a little update on uh, the Gilroy's housing element. So today is February 3rd, 2023. The housing element uh, process um, was supposed to be completed by January 31st, 2023. So what that means today is that um, Gilroy does not have a certified housing element. We are out of compliance and we're subject to something called the builder's remedy. And um, in short, it's basically a housing development streamlining tool that provides developers an option to file an application project with at least 20% affordable housing that is not in conformance with our zoning and general plan. There are other rules and stipulations, but you can go search that out yourself. Um, I, I will put a technical paper from Association of uh, Bay Area yeah. Governments or ABAG um, that you can read, it gives a little bit more in detail. Um, so Gilroy got its first uh, um, review comment letter back based on the second draft that was submitted. And we got that letter on January 27th. It says basically that the draft element addresses many statutory requirements. However, revisions will be necessary to comply with um, state housing element law. So staff's going to take um, HCD's comments back and they're going to revise the draft that's anticipated to be completed in March. Um, then this will be posted on the city's website for public review and feedback. Um, they will also send this out to, um, you know, people that are wanting to uh, make public comment and that those that, that have been working with city staff um, and, and with uh, state housing and community development, which is HCD when you hear that term. Um, they'll, they'll give them the revised draft. The revised draft will also be reviewed by the Planning Commission and the City Council. Um, they're planning for that to be in March um, or April of 2023. And then staff said that additional revisions may be necessary following review by the public commission and the council. A revised draft, which will be our third draft, um, will then be sent to HCD for additional review and certification, all while being open for the builder remedy, um, any projects that come through. When we send this back to HCD, um, it'll be uh, um, all the public comment and the stuff from the council and such before they send it to HCD, they will take in um, our recommendations, uh, city council recommendations, planning commission, and then that will be posted for seven days on the website, the third version, before they send it to HCD, right? Because they have time to absorb all of our comments, um, take those in into consideration. And then um, and, and turn that into HCD. And HCD has, um, I believe they have 90 days. Let's see here. They have 60 days to review the revised draft. Then they will send a letter back, either saying you're in compliance or they'll say, you know, you still have more work to be done. So there's a couple of things that, that came up, not really any uh, surprise to a lot of us, but um, that's part. this is part of the process. Um, the deeper work that they wanted the city to do um, has to involve with ADUs, accessory and dwelling units. Um, we are not, our current ordinance is not in compliance with state law. Staff understands that. We understand that. It changes, it happens. Um, so we need to update that. Um, and then uh, there's more work to be done with, uh, it's called AFFH, which is affirmatively, affirmatively furthering fair housing. Um, we have to uh, revise um, some goals and actions and outcomes we're looking for and analysis and that. Um, there's, uh, there's some stuff that, uh, that has to do with, um, extremely low income housing and different programs we're committing that we have to go into deeper work on. And let's see what else is on here. Um, the sites inventory, um, and analysis is, is incomplete and, uh, it doesn't. And right now we do not have like, therefore it says, therefore the adequacy of sites and zoning were not established. Um, so we don't have a complete sites inventory and analysis. And, um, you know, uh, that's going to be some extra work. That's going to be some deeper diving. That's going to take us to um, actually, you know, get commitments um, out there for people that actually want to build. We can't just tell people, you know, hey, you can build here. Um, when in actuality, that property owner has zero interest in building uh, affordable housing on there. Um, or they might be interested in building affordable housing, but maybe not as much as we have um, said in our site's analysis that, that they will build. Um, so that's, that, that's some extra work that we're going to have to do. Um, there's talks about energy conservation. Um, that's a part of the housing element that's in here. 
Um, local processing and, and permit procedures, that's another area. Fees um, is another one, ADU impact fees um, and constraints on, uh, on ADU production. Um, there's more stuff here about ADUs. I won't go into great detail on that. Permanent supportive housing. Um, it says supportive housing shall be a use by right in zones where multifamily and mixed use mixed uses are permitted, including non-residential zones. The element must demonstrate compliance with this effort, with this requirement, and include programs as appropriate. Transitional and supportive housing, we got to do some deeper work on that. Um, a couple other notes on accessory dwelling units. I'll put the, this was a long letter, comment letter back, and I'll put that link in here too. Um, more work on extremely low income housing. Um, the analysis should evaluate uh, overcrowding, overpayment, disproportionate impacts relative to other income groups, re resources, past strategies, and their effectiveness and, and magnitude of the housing needs. Um, so that, that pretty much summed it up. Um, it's, uh, you know, most cities in the Bay Area are going through this right now. Um, it, it is, it's my opinion that um, based on, you know, memos that, that I've written to staff, um, based on the work that, uh, you know, Silicon Valley at home and UMB Law and, um, and several others that, uh, that provided help Greenbelt Alliance that provided help on this, the Act Housing Action Coalition, um, just reading off the letter. Uh, you know, we're all here to help each other out. We're, we're here to get this right. And um, staff understands that. Staff knows that. The rest of the Bay Area cities know that. It's just, uh, you know, we, we need to, we, it's just getting the will of everybody to, um, to get it into place. Um, and I think that can be done. So next update you'll probably hear from, uh, from me about this is, I would say, probably towards the end of March or April. Um, and that's when the draft will be posted uh, for everybody to review it. And then it'll start going through these public meetings. Um, and then we'll, uh, you know, we'll get to that. And if there are projects that come through in the Builder's Remedy, um, I'm pretty sure we'll hear about it or, or you know, they'll pop up on the, uh, the current development um, projects list. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, uh, ask me any questions you need to and everybody take care.